Hello, welcome to the 100 Pinch Pots Project Celebration of the Arts 2015. How do you do this? First thing is go to the supply table, get one ball of clay for yourself. Get one name sheet. Ready. Go to a table that has a box on it. This is the supply box. Sit down. The first thing you want to do is get a pen and fill out your name sheet. Don't lose this or you won't get your clay back. Put your name, put your grade. I'm pretend I'm in first grade. Name, class. Put this aside. Now you're ready to make a pinch pot. The ball of clay is large so you can take part of it off. So just Use your hands to squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, until you have a, a smaller piece that you can tear it off. Smaller piece, bigger piece. Smaller piece for later, bigger piece. Now we're going to roll it, roll it, roll it. So tell yourself, you can do it on the table, or you can use your hands. Just say, rolling, 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 get that ball of rolling, make it round, yeehaw! Rolling, rolling, rolling. On the table, just go like this on top of your clay. Once you have a pretty round ball, you're ready for thumbs up to the joya. Let's go. Three, two, one. Blast off. Push your thumb all the way to the bottom without going through. Push it down as far as you can. Okay? Take out your thumb, now you're going to pinch. This is why it's called a pinch part. This is a pinch. Pinch the clay going in a circle. By the way, you made a hole. Can you see? You've made a hole with your thumb. Now you're going to pinch, spinning the ball around in your hand, and making the hole bigger and bigger. As you pinch the clay, you're pinching together. Pinch, 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 pinch. The hole's getting bigger. When it's the way you want, you're done with the pinch pot. If you want to transform the shape, you can transform the shape now. Or you can leave it round. Now we're on to the other piece of clay. This piece of clay is for you to decorate. If you want to make pieces, form them with your hand. Depends on what you want to make. I'm going to make just one part so I can stop the video. Okay, I'm going to make a coil rolling back and forth like a worm. I sneezed out of clay. All right, I'm ready to do the next part. You need a tool. Find a tool from the box, toolbox, and the slip. This is slip. It's clay and water. It's the glue. Open it up. If it's not open, you're going to share this with your table friends. Okay, there's just one per box. Now I'm going to do score and slip. Score is scratching. So wherever you want to attach the clay, you need to make marks in it with your tool. So I'm going to attach this piece. I'm going to make marks up and down, left and right, vertical, horizontal. You probably can't see this very good because it's dark, but there's lines there. On the other side, I'm going to scratch. Okay, now I'm going to attach like this. I want to attach right here, so where is it going to attach? I'm going to do the same thing, it's called scoring. Scratch the clay, scratch the clay, scratch the clay, scratch the clay. If you're with a first or second grader doing this, they know how to do it, they're experts, they can teach you. Okay, now I'm going to put my slip. You don't need to get your finger inside, just use a tool, scoop out a little bit, and now I'll put the bread, the butter on your bread. Just put a little bit on each spot, attach the clay, pressing down, press it hard so that it really sticks on there. Use your strength on the other part, oh I made it too, I made it too big with space, so now I broke, but guess what, I like this, now I have some horns, I can turn this into a monster. Ah, you see where ideas come from, sometimes the mistakes give us ideas. 
So I'm going to stop there, but I can go on. I can use my tool to draw in the clay. I can use the extra clay to add parts. Just remember, score and slip, or else when it dries, I didn't score and slip, mister. Uh-oh. <gasps> I'm sorry you didn't follow the directions. Clay has some rules you got to follow. So this is done. Now I'm going to take my clay and my paper. I'm going to return it to the supply table. And you can get your picture taken. Okay? So make sure you have this to go with this. Or else you'll be the unknown piece of clay. And their clay will be sad. Alright, thank you very much. Enjoy.